And now for the maximum tail of the tape. 12 years older is McLennan than his opponent. He's also two centimeters taller, while it is Duplessis that enjoys a one centimeter reach advantage. Maxim, the world's leading men's magazine, on sale now. Over to Shane the Duke Wellington. Ladies and gentlemen, EFC 33, live for the first time from the Durban ICC, right here in the nation's playground, Durban, South Africa. This is the main event of the evening. Proudly brought to you by BetExchange.com, the official sports betting partners of the EFC. And now, it's the moment that EFC fans around the world have been waiting for. So let the battle begin! This championship bout is five rounds for the EFC middleweight title. Introducing first, the challenger. He's fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxing specialist and is currently undefeated in four professional fights. He stands 1.85 meters tall, weighing in at 83 kilograms, fighting out of Hatfield, Pretoria, Dricus Still Knox Duplessis. And now introducing his opponent. He's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and two losses. He stands 1.87 meters tall, weighing in at 83 kilograms. He was born in Durban and fighting out of Sunning Hill, Johannesburg. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed EFC middleweight champion, Gareth Soldier Boy McLennan. And when the action begins, our referee in charge is Ferdy Basson. The lovely Hexagon Girls, probably brought to you by Rex, Diff and Gearbox, driven by Perfection. Oh, Jamie and Jocelyn here tonight. Durban ICC Arena is about to erupt. Come to the center, please. Guys, this is a title fight. Obey the commands at all times. Let's keep it clean, touch gloves, and let's start to fight. You ready? You ready? Fight! Start this bout presented by Pitbull, the world's only FDA approved energy drink. McLennan in the green, Duplessis in the blue. And no fear shown by the 20 year old with the odds stacked against him taking on the biggest name in MMA on the continent. Absolutely fearless and also nothing to lose. Trickers Duplessis. And Mark for that left leg of his. See that kickboxing world champion pedigree. Four or five leg kicks of Lana. Jeremy Smith had a lot of success with that early in his career. Trickers has got the uh, guillotine choke on Gareth McLennan. This might be in. This might actually be in. Boy here. This is how he was finished against McClellan, or just against Smith rather. Looks like he is out of trouble, but he yeah. was, that was in close a spot. Though. You see Gareth was nearly, nearly stuck his neck up for a second wow. too long. McClellan escapes. Duplessis with nothing to lose here. Massive confidence booster for him there. You see McClellan wants to close the gap, but looks like he's going to look for that takedown and work from there. Rick is Duplessis very confident and so far. What a massive fight for both of these athletes. And immediately, you see Drick is chasing McClellan. Happy just to set the pace here, Duplessis. That leg kick has been working so far. He's landed about four or five times as Drick is. Throws that right hand with Venom as well. No respect shown here for the champion. McClellan is now checked. The first time he's checked a kick. Likes to come in with that uppercut, does McClellan. He's seen it all though, hasn't he, McClellan? A veteran. He's been in deep dark waters inside this EFC hexagon, no doubt about that. Come back from a serious knee injury. He's reinvented himself. A double knee surgery. The 
Well, Jake, as you can see, so confident, such a talented young man. There's no doubt he's got, he's going to be a future champion and he could be one tonight. It's incredible to say that. You know, my fifth fight, I'm going to be champion. He's 4 0 now, he has a shot. Crazy McClellan now going for the takedown. No, this is in front of his own corner, he manages to get it to the floor. Drickers gets wow. right back to his the feet. Strength of Duplessis. McClellan's fighting for the takedown, though. Duplessis trying to swim in with the underhooks. A lean from McClellan. He's got the underhook now. He should be able to keep it standing now, but McClellan clearly is going to try and drag oh, him to the floor. He does so, he lands up in full mount. This is a bad spot for Duplessis to be in. So he's going to desperately quickly up. try to get back to his feet or escape out the bottom. But this is right in front of McClellan's corner. He's got the high mount. Very, very bad spot for Drickers to be in. He wants to get out of here, and he wants to get out of here quickly. He needs to. Tell him though. Wants to pin him down. Spins around on this ground. He's still on top as McKillen. He looks for the guillotine. He's going to try and take. Drickers is back. Drickers trying to throw him off of him. McKillen has landed nicely. This is what we saw similar to JP Kruger. No hooks in by McKillen, but he managed to finish JP Kruger from here. Rickers see. not out of trouble Trying just to yet. On. Now he has managed to get out the back and now he's in the top position. McClellan now gets back to his feet. Looking for the takedown that again is, is McClellan. Manages to drag him down. Now McClellan inside control again in front of his own corner. This will suit McClellan. You see Duplessis has certainly done a lot of work on his ground game. Hours and hours in the wrestling mat. Up against the guy he used to idolize. In the side position, once he gets side control, which he does now, this is a good place for him to work from. Minute remains in round number one of the middleweight title fight here at EFC 33. You can see he wants to try and walk, walk get out of the spot. Right in front of his own corner as McClellan. Hasn't managed to really land anything all that significant as yet. Yeah, McClellan won the middleweight title against Jacques Hubert. We had an asthma attack at the end of the first round, still went four rounds until he got the finish. Unbelievable effort. I think the wars that McKellen's been in. You can see, finds himself in an awkward situation, awkward spot, but he's... 20 seconds to go in his first round. Tries to find damage. out that McKellen's still in that top position, controlling. Goes for the hip throw now. Super movement. In the scramble, it is Drickers who lands up on top. What a first round. These guys are super athletes. Absolutely no doubt about that. Well, round one, a thing of the past. Here at EFC 33. I think it was a good round for Drickers Duplessis. He definitely landed more kicks in the stand-up department. And he also had top position, even though Gareth had his back. He managed to escape that. Let's have a listen in as the corner cams brought to you by GNC Pro Performance Club. Available. We need to play our game, but okay, don't play this game when you're on that. Just lock them down in your legs. Okay? Watch when you hear this the whole time. Well done, Gareth. We want all that for it. A big smile on the face of Drickus Duplessy. He is enjoying what he's doing right now. Monet Fisser is icing that left shoulder of Duplessis and he almost a little bit when that ice was put on. I wonder if he's not carrying some sort of a shoulder injury. You know, the guys at CRT do spar very, very hard quite often. And I wonder if there's a niggle. Of course, at that age, you do recover very, very quickly. Duplessis just 20. McKellen, 32. The crowd chanting, Soldier Boy. Chuck, you for that? Fight. Round two gets underway with Pitbull Energy Drink. Give it a try for a whole new experience. And immediately Gareth looking for that takedown as Drickers came in. Oh my! Big throw by Drickers, who's going to end up on top in the scramble. It is actually Drickers who does. That was body to body simply fire. Drickers and now Drickers. Not a good spot for the champion. champion. Takes McClellan's back. Not a good spot for the champion. He's going to try and get that choke and he's still on McClellan's back right in front of his own jiu-jitsu coach and will face it. So McClellan has seen it all before. Experienced campaigner ready for any situation. Trying to just shake Drickers off of his back. He's trying to get him to let go of the hook which he has now done and manages to shake him off by doing that. And now McClellan is in the top position. So strong is Drickers Duplessis as well. 
Now McKellen can work, he is in half guard. This is where he can strike when we saw early in his career. He got a couple of knockout victories. We'll remember Jean Libert was pretty much a similar position as this. Look at that elbow he landed on Jeremy Smith. Those short elbows do damage. And he's also very good at just exploding and working as McKellen doesn't overexert himself and he doesn't waste energy when he's punching. It's going to work until he gets into a better position. Dickerson Dickerson tries Dickerson. to escape here. Trying to get back to his feet, but McClellan's having none of it. He's going to keep on dragging and pushing him down. Now Drickers nearly looks like he's getting back to his feet. McClellan is going to pull him. Try and pull him back out under him. McClellan working for that nice gut. The full mount as Gareth McClellan is going to work to finish him here. Drickers is in trouble. Now gives up his back. Look, 40 to see. Nearly looked like McClellan had it. McKellen on the back of DPC now. DPC trying to now play McKellen off the same way he did to. This is a rule of skill earlier. and will, ladies and gentlemen. Back and forth, seesaw back with DPC trying to throw Gareth off in the same manner. Nearly had him off, but Gareth is sticking to his back. He doesn't have the hooks in though. And Drickus manages to wrestle and drive to get him off. Now DPC has got the half guard position. McKellen is looking to get a leg. He's going to die for a knee bar as Gareth McKellen. Right. Everything he can with telling you, he's got a final no, hand. Yeah. He's got his back. Oh my goodness. Good. It's like he's got the choke in. McKillen might be out of trouble. Doesn't look like it's in quite an even chip. Pops up now. He's on Drickus' back. Halfway through round two of this title fight. Seesaw battle of note on the ground at the moment. McKillen's now going to try and isolate it on possibly look for the armbar. Dupas is exhausted though, no doubt about that. That took a lot out of him. He squeezed for all he was worth when he thought he had the choke. McClellan working from full mount now. Looking to unleash the Two minutes power. remaining, bad spot for Dupas. He's going to have to do something. How McClellan drives forward, but it looks like McClellan is just as tight as Dupas. Digging deep for Dupas. As is McClellan in the half court. Dupas holding on. McClellan trying to get that mount again. McClellan so composed. Looks like he's got them on. Duplessis is taking big, deep breaths. Giving up his back here. Duplessis at the moment in survival mode. He desperately wants to get to the end of this round so he can have that minute break. McKillen flattens him out. 90 seconds left in round two. He's going to have to do something. Ferdy Basson is having a close look. McKillen looks like he's got it underneath the chin. Squeezing as Gareth cranking away. That this could, could be it for Gareth McKillen. Tightening it up. Still landing a shot. Tries to reset minute, go, 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 10 seconds remain. Gonna try and get that submission in. Rudy Basson having a close look for now though. Drickus is surviving. How is he holding on here against the champion? McKinnon looks like he wants to get it in and Drickus is surviving, trying to throw him off. Again and again, Drickus manages to get out of trouble, but McKinnon is sticking to his back. McKinnon just tries to flatten him out again. 45 seconds. And he can hear Norman Vessels in his corner. 40 seconds. They want him to just survive and see out the round. McKillen now it looks like he's got it in. How much energy has this taken Squeezing. out of Duplessis? Duplessis looks like he was out for a second. He is in deep, deep trouble. McKillen dictating turns. He's in charge here. The referee looks close to be stepping in. Drickers with the rolling around. Having big shots as McKillen is looking to finish. Ferdy Basson is very, very Dupes close to finish again. 15 seconds oh to go. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Dupes holds on by the skin of his team. He might make it to the end of this round. Then Soldier Boy up a gear and now in That's control. That. Incredible survival mode, Drickus Duplessis. Done and dusted round two. He's going to welcome this rest at the end of the second round. Got three more to go, and Drickus Dupasi is exhausted. But McKinnon yeah, is also right, taking right, very right, deep breaths. This is like when you just be careful Action replay brought to you by GMC Peak Performance down to science. As that two play attempt from Drickus Dupasi still very strong in the beginning of that second round. Landed a couple of good clean shots after that, but it seemed like as soon as 
He had that rear naked choke, or the attempted rear naked choke. He really put everything into to try and finish Gareth. And from there, he really struggled to get his gas back. Gutsy effort from Duplessis so far. And he's got a massive task in his hands if he wants to wrestle away the title from Gareth McClellan. Back to your fingers. That's the underline piece. Down the line, down the line. Fight! Round three gets out of the way of Pickle. Almost Jones. immediately. Long experience. And almost immediately, Gary shoots for the takedown as Drick is started stalking him. He's going to look to drive through with the takedown as McKillen, and he manages to do so. Manages to drop Drick is over. Now he can work from the top position. Pretty Basson is right there. Taylor's game plan working out. Yeah, he's going to have to move, he's going to have to do something. He's not going to try and trap an arm. He is landing shots though from this position. Does look like he's got control of Drickus' left arm and left leg as well. Right. Does indeed. And what he's trying to do is trying to isolate that right arm as well. If he can do that, certainly work from there. Ah, Duplessis now grabs McKinnon's arm. Shot to the rib. And side control McKellen working. Good spot for him to be working in close to Drickus's corner. How much has Duplessis got left in the tank? Back of the head shots. Warning from the referee to watch out for the back of the head shots. McKellen, of course, can't see Drickus's head from that position. Has been into the third round once before against JC Lambrecht, UFC 24. And we did see him exhausted in that bout as well, see us. That's right. But that was also a frantic pace from start to finish. Now Drickus tries to wall walk and get back to his feet and he does so That's successfully. Nice Down they go again. But though. again, McKellen gets him to the floor. And that is energy sapping. If you've just used so much energy to get back to your feet and immediately you get dragged down, that can break your spirit and your will. And it, of course, it saps a lot of energy. The conditioning comes into play. You see the experience of Gareth McKellen. Just controlling things here, putting the pressure all on Duplessis. Again, trying to get back to his feet. McKenna's got a hold of a guillotine choke, an arm in guillotine, and he's pulling for all his work. Trying here yeah, is McKenna. It looks like Drickus is out, oh, and he's out oh, oh. Gareth McKenna retains the title. But yet but again, he put Drickus Duplessis to sleep at EFC 33. He's choked Drickus Duplessis out. McKenna remains the baddest middleweight on the continent he is the baddest dude keeps the belt dirt he's unstoppable well Drickus Duplessis made it incredibly hard for him it was at one lapse of concentration from Duplessis McLennan locked up and that guillotine was tight jump up and it was a matter of seconds before Duplessis was out cold Gareth McLennan gets the victory in front of his hometown fans he proves yet again that he is the best in this weight division. Absolutely elated. The class performance by the man known as Soldier Boy. The experience told on the day. The action replay brought to you by GNC. Peak performance down to a science. He locked it up. It was the arm in, but that was in tight. As soon as he locked it up, he knew it was on deep and hard. And you can actually see as soon as his body went limp. Round about there, you can see Trick is out cold and McClellan keeps on squeezing. The referee noticing that he's out, stops the fight immediately. First loss of Trick is Duplessis' young career handed team, but there's no doubt he will be a future champion. What a talent, what a gutsy effort. He really put on a tough, tough fight for the champion. Be interesting to hear what Soldier Boy said to Trick is Duplessis there. A lot of respect between the two. Gareth acknowledging that he's looking at a future champion, no doubt about that. It's McClellan, holds on to his gold strap at EFC 33. Bitter pill to swallow for Drikas Duplessis, that's for sure.
But it's all about this man, Gareth McClellan, the middleweight champion at EFC. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ferdy Basson has called a stop to this contest. Two minutes and 12 seconds into round number three. Declaring the winner by guillotine choke and steal the EFC middleweight champion, Gareth Soldier Boy McLevin. I'm here with the middleweight champion, still the middleweight champion, Gareth McLellan. You must be very happy to have done it in front of your home fans. I just want to thank the first person in my life, Lord Jesus Christ, who's done amazing things in my life. I then want to thank Trackist. What an effort, boy. You came out and you tested me way harder than I ever thought you would. You're a true gentleman and a great fighter, and I respect you. To my team, FFM, you've carried me so far, and we're going to keep on rising, boys. To my management, Soldier Boy Management, my family, and then to the fans of Durban. I came home. To watch me fight, I want to thank you and give me a hoorah! Now for you coming into this bout, you, you said to me that you felt that Drickers was certainly going to make it difficult for you tonight and you were absolutely right, he gave you a hell of a fight. Well yeah, look, uh, I expected something different for him. Hats off to Monet and the team, he was super composed, he stuck to his game plan, he threw nice punches, made it a little difficult for me on the feet so we tested him on the floor, I started having some ground there and I just kept plugging away. I came out with a victory. I'm very humbled and honored. Thank you very much. Well, you looked incredible again tonight. Congratulations on still being the EFC middleweight champion, Gareth McLellan, ladies and gentlemen.